Hi everyone. Today we are going to be focusing on trying to practice drawing our animal that we will eventually use in our watercolor uh, assignment. So I asked you guys to get some reference photos, uh, some animals, and also some of the habitat. So I'm focusing on using some of the leaves and plant life that I see in this picture, but I really liked the positioning of this orangutan. To me, it really highlights what I love about them, the way they just kind of swing with ease with their limbs. And so today I'm gonna to practice drawing it. And that's a pretty tricky thing to do just on your own. So we're gonna just talk about some tips uh, that you can use. So when you're first drawing something new, it's nice to have the picture. If you can have it printed out, that's great. Or if you have it just up on the screen as you're working. Uh, you also, at first, when you're practicing drawing it, keeping it about the same size is really helpful. So I'm just gonna start by kind of creating a little box just by looking at how far uh, the furthest point in my orang orangutan is, um, and just looking at how tall it is too. So I see that it's about four inches tall. So I'm just creating that same box here. All of this practice will then help you um, do a little bit better when you get to your final draft. Now the next step, we wanna think about the shapes that we see, okay? So when I look at this orangutan, um, I see lots of limbs, I see lots of um, details, but I'm gonna start with what I see just in the middle. So I see this kind of oval shape. And because of the positioning of the head here, the head kind of becomes part of that oval too. And it's an oval at an angle. So I'm just gonna start with creating an oval. Now, if you're a person who kind of judges your own artwork, you'll look at this right now and say, oh, that looks terrible. It doesn't look anything like an orangutan. Of course not. It is just a simple oval at this point. So try not to judge yourself as you're starting out. Uh, it takes a little bit to build up the detail and get it to make sense. All right, so now I'm gonna focus on this. I see a long triangle and I see it connected in a rectangle. And where it connects on the oval, to me, I see it a little bit lower than the highest point. So I see a little rectangle here, and then I see a long triangle, as I mentioned. Okay, in this case, you know, as I'm working, if I notice that I need to push it back, like maybe the edge of my oval starts a little further back, that's okay, because right now I just have these really light lines, um, and they're just really sketchy. I'll erase more, I'll put more detail in later. So his hand kind of ends here, and then I have that rectangle I mentioned or the triangle that connects to the rectangle. Um, I'm gonna mark where the head is. It's like almost a little bit of a bump, but it's still a big part of that oval. And then I see his other arm, it kind of sits on top of the oval. I see a little bit of a straight here, and then I see a little bit more of a triangle as well. Okay, I can even start to take away. So from that basic oval, I see there's a little cutout here so that tells me that maybe the oval was just like a starting point of a shape and now I can kind of give it a little more detail. All right, we're starting to see what I've got going. Still takes a lot more. Um, I'm looking at this, once again, long triangle, kind of comes out from where I, I had it before. You can also use your pencil to kind of figure out angles and shapes. So just by drawing a line and then checking it, I can see if I got the actual angle that I'm looking at. And then I see that it comes down. And then the last part, to me, I'm just gonna draw this as like a curved um, rectangle slash triangle to get the, the bottom part. All right, so still does not look like an orangutan exactly, but I'm starting to get the positioning. Now I would go in and double check some of my details, double check the sizing and the spacing. So one thing you can do, if you wanna see if you got the size of something right, you can take your pencil to the image, either on the screen or on paper, and you can measure and compare. So I'm gonna measure the length from his elbow to his hand, just by putting my pencil tip at his elbow and then putting my thumb right at where his hand should be. That way I can go to my drawing and I can just double check the size. So here, it looks like I drew it pretty well. I can do the same thing with checking my angles to make sure things line up. I'm gonna look at the angle of his belly here. Oh, so I have a curve from that first oval. Now it's telling me that I probably need to straighten it out a little bit, okay? So as I'm going, I can erase because I'm doing really, really light lines and I'm just starting to figure out what the form actually looks like. 
Now from here, I can go in and start adding more of the elements that I see. So I see some details that kind of show that this is a face. So I might go in and add those details as well. I might go in and define more of the edges of the fingers. I might also go in and start to show where some of the fur is. But this is the part that I want you to practice today so you feel comfortable and confident with the basic shape of your animal. Um, good luck practicing and show me some pictures. If you have questions, let me know.